Hello everyone, 3.23 is on the public PTU wave 1 and today I want to take a quick look at engineering. Of course, I don't know what I'm doing. I am not sure if what I'm doing is correct, but yeah, it's just the first quick look. New feature, three game modes, dual, E2 versus E2, squadron battle, E2 versus Gladius, and free flight. Fuses, each player has fuses in the inventory. They can be used to fill empty slots in the relay or exchange broken fuses of the relays. Engineering panel, this panel gives players an overview of the state of components and how they are connected. Here, players will be warned about not sufficient power and if items are damaged and require repair. Additionally, players will see the states of the relays, where warnings will be issued for missing or broken fuses. Damage done by attacking ships will now penetrate a hull and will damage ship items below. Players now can target the areas of ships where the ship components are placed. This is very interesting. On the other hand, why are ship components placed so poorly in so many ships? For example, Gladius and Ares have their shield generators side by side, so you can destroy both with one shot of a ballistic gun. My guess is, CHE put components wherever they could find a place. Redundancy didn't play any role. Power management is partly present in this experimental mode, where the focus is on simply turning items on and off to achieve power balance on the ship. Repair. Players have the multi-tool with them to repair damaged ships using the salvage repair mode. This is of course just another beam. This mode will consume the RMC canister to bring back the health of your ship components. I won't read everything, you can pause the video and read it. I click on I understand. We are going offline, A2, and we are launching. As soon as I'm standing up, my character is breathing heavily. Okay. By the way, you don't need to hold anything now, you can just hit F to enter pilot seat. Of course, we have animations, we have ghosting text. Why do we need those fancy animations? Those are just distracting, Chris. Yeah, I just have to hit F and I can sit down. Here we have engineering, we have rooms and items. You can move this around, you can rotate it. Quite nice, but I don't like uh, those flickering background images. I would think that 900 years into our future we have like 120 FPS at least and don't need flickering background. Please fix this Chris. Overall not too bad. You can see your guns. This is a battery. Here you have relays. Large relay, large relay. At the moment it looks like everything works. You can go to room and you can open and close doors. Not bad. And here we have one of those new relays. This is too dark, this is too bright. There are two spots for fuses. You can hold F and you get an interaction wheel. Of course, it needs to be a fancy holographic interaction wheel with ghosting text and it has to move around. Why, Chris? What is wrong with good 2D UIs? You can pick it up and you can place it. And you can go into your inventory, click on carry, close your inventory and you can place the other fuse. Two green lights now. And here we have another relay with one fuse missing. Let's go into inventory and carry another fuse. This is kinda not a good design. This should be streamlined. And we are placing another fuse. And more. By the way, those are actually on, I guess. We have a green light. There's one spot missing. Let's carry another fuse and put it into the one spot that is empty. Now I have three green lights. Let's check again here. Okay, those are on too. 
Yeah, this is a first quick look. I don't know all the spots where you can have fuses. Oh, here's another spot. One is missing. Let's open inventory. Carry a fuse and place it. Yeah, this is a very cumbersome process. Why not have some hotkeys like tons of games have? Let's check the other side. Or check here. Okay, there's a fuse box too. But I don't have that many fuses left, so I don't know if I have to fill all the slots. Okay, I cannot even carry this one. Let's go back to a cockpit. Okay, those doors are now opening when you are approaching. Okay, this is nice. In the past you had to stand in front of the door <laughs> like an idiot for like four, five seconds until those doors were opening. What I like is, I like this, but it should not flicker. Please stop the flickering that you can open doors, that you can see where you have a problem, what fuses you have to change. That's good. So bad. I don't like the UI. This is really terrible. Look at this. Who needs this? Why does it have to move? Why do we need ghosting text? Come on. Most games are using 2D UIs for a reason. Because they work, they are easy to use. You can see at one glance what you need to see. And I don't like that those relays are just in the open. This looks very gamey. This looks like, hey, we have no fuse boxes and relays and you can change fuses. Be happy. We finally are getting engineering gameplay. And I also don't like that if you want to change fuses, you have to go into your inventory. Why not just use hotkeys like so many games are doing? You have a bar at the bottom with 1 to 10 and you can place your fuses, for example, into a hotkey slot and use them. But no, you always have to go into your inventory, you have to click on carry. I cannot even carry this one. Then you can place it. That's not cool, especially not if you are in a hurry. Summary, engineering tier zero, so good. Getting tier zero of engineering gameplay into the game is very nice. The schematics of the ship looks usable. The bad. Why do we need a holographic, fancy, moving 3D UI with ghosting text and ghosting icons? This might look cool, I give you that Chris, but it is really annoying to use and it doesn't solve any problem. There is a reason why most games are using good, very user friendly and easy to use 2D UIs. Why is the background flickering when I look at my ship? Please fix this. Why do I always have to go into my inventory, right click on a fuse, select carry, have to leave inventory and then can place a fuse. Most games are using hotkeys for items. Why are the relays right in the open and neatly present the fuses? Why are important components placed side by side in many ships? What about redundancy? Yeah, for example, Cladius, both shield generators in the same spot, side by side. Why do we have another very low effort beam for repair? Beam citizen. These are my thoughts about engineering tier zero. Let me know what you think in the comments below and see you next time. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, I don't know why the hull flushed. I mean, this is supposed to, I mean, it's, it's an energy gun because then after a while, hull stopped flushing. And then it only started flushing again when shields were down. So I guess this thing is bugged or it, it's not some kind of, okay, I fell through the planet flicker. I fell through the planet. I was on the elevator and I fell through the planet. Hey, you are still here. You might want to join me on Twitter. My Twitter account is Kamoral underscore S. See?